Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? Nothing really on my mind. This morning, it's uh, Wednesday, I believe. Whew. And it was really stormy last night. I think what heavy, heavy storms like last night remind me of is that there's beauty even in the storm. There is. There's beauty in the storm. So whatever you're facing today, I don't know what it is, but whatever it might be, if it's stormy, there's going to be beauty there. It's not a cliche, overly positive thing to say. Um, sort of like every cloud has a silver lining. But those types of cliches come from somewhere. And it came from someone thinking there's going to be something positive even though this negative thing is happening. It's our second first day so there's breakfast cooking and uh, then tomorrow everybody's in everybody's got their rhythm and I'm not making breakfast anymore until next September <laughs> I better make sure there's cereal on the fridge <laughs> but anyway not a lot today just there's beauty in the storm like the rain it looked like it was going sideways it was coming down at one point so hard. The kids were like, it's raining? I'm like, it looks solid. It looks solid, but that's rain. It is, and then they saw the puddles on the ground and they saw the action in the, in the puddles and they knew it was raining and I thought, yeah. Sometimes we're in such a dark spot that it feels solid, like we can't breathe. Like, if I were to walk through this, I will drown, literally. But it is rain, and it will ease up. And the next morning, the sun is shining above the clouds. And I, I'm not trying to be facetious and overly positive, but there is something to be said for the beauty of a storm. And if you're caught in it, it's very difficult to see the beauty. Very, very difficult. But trust me, from someone sitting, looking, gazing out the window, looking at the storms of life, there is beauty to be found there. I'm currently reading a book for a book launch um, called Hiding in the Pews. And it's a really hard book to read because my friend Steve wrote it. The coolest part right now is the book launch team. We're all discussing my friend, Steve. He touched so many hearts and so many lives and he made every single person feel like they were his best friend. And I wanna be like that when I grow up. You know, I want to impact people in the middle of their storms. It's a book on mental health and the church and how church leadership and church goers need to acknowledge mental health and help each other through it. And to recognize that the pastor could be struggling and he's hiding behind the pulpit every week. And how we need to be courageous enough to say, you know what? I have to have a therapist. I, I have to have medication. It's okay to have Jesus and a therapist too. It's okay to have Jesus and a medication bottle too. Because we end up self-medicating, whether it's on social media, by overdoing it and getting into arguments, or just releasing our emotions and anger in ways that we don't we don't have control of or whether we medicate by oversleeping or not sleeping enough, over exercising. There's lots of ways we can self-medicate. And then the danger comes in that 
we just say, you know what, I'm done. I can't do it. I've struggled with this to the place where I cannot struggle anymore. And I, I just pray for you, my friend who's in a storm. I pray that you'll be able to wipe the rain out of your face for a moment and be able to see some beauty today. And if your storm has passed and you see a rainbow, take a page from my friend Steve. Storytelling saves lives. Tell your story. Your story is valuable. Your story is worth it. You're not trying to trample someone else's story by sharing your own. We have to listen to people. But sometimes people aren't ready to talk and we don't even know who needs our story. <clears throat> So share, share what God has done for you. Share how he met you in the darkest places and sat in the storm with you. Got so soaking wet, drenched. For he's God in the dark places too. If your rainbow shining, share the story. And if you're in the middle of a storm, reach out and say, I feel like I'm drowning. It's, it's okay to say, I'm not okay. But you gotta say it to the right people though. Remember, like there are a lot of people that care a lot, but we're not therapists and we cannot fix you and we cannot save you. So if we say, we gotta help you get to a therapist, you gotta follow that to the place and to the person that can help you. Because if you expect your average human to be the one to rescue you you're going to be sorely disappointed <laughs> sorely disappointed but even in the darkness of a, of a storm there's time to dream and time to hope and time to wish let's take a deep breath put your feet flat on the floor breathe in all the way to the belly and breathe out and take some time for some sweet dreams today. Bye.